Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar finally finished farting around in Dungeon Hithloth, bound a couple spells to his spellbook, and took the tunnel back from Numagentia to Buccaneer's Den, where he farted around some more, actually. But now it's time to have a little chat with Sam Hain about getting that Codex of Ultimate Wisdom in return for solving the problem regarding the whirlpools that were caused by the column rising out of Dungeon Hithloth. Let's have that chat. Ah, the Avatar. My informants tell me our shipping lanes are returned to us. Many thanks. I thank you for your thanks, and come to conclude our bargain. Yes, the book. Unfortunately, there's been a slight hitch. Huh? That's certainly one way to put it. Remember me! How could you? We have choice. Yes, yes, yes. Enough idle chit chat! You didn't say anything Science. about. Science! I have an old score to settle with this one. I believe this belongs to you! But the Codex was not part of the deal. Payment for your trouble. Fantastic. So Sam Hain sold the Avatar out to Blackthorn, and Blackthorn had the Worm Guard throw the Avatar into this tiny prison cell in Dungeon Deceit, which the game doesn't tell you, with a rat. Uh, the Avatar's gear is gone, and Blackthorn has the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. That's just great. Nobody out there. What was that? Um, that's a secret door. Okay. Cool. Oh, not so cool. It's actually kind of foreboding. But there's nowhere else to go. Maybe there's another secret door over here? Not exactly. Uh, here? Not exactly once again, but we do seem to be making forward progress, and I... that's... creepy. We're unarmed, so we have to be pretty cautious. No combat music and no movement, so... Hi there! How are you doing? A lot of decorative armor here. Can't take any of it. Well, when in doubt, poke it. That's... that's nice. I like the blue. Poke it again. Okay, and that's like it was before. Well, this is the only thing that the Avatar can interact with right now, so we'll just poke it again and... kinda leave it that way. Go check out the cell again. Wait, where'd the... Where'd those bones go? Did we just, like, animate a skeleton or something? Because that's... that's great. I don't know. Uh... The bed looks... weird. We just ran through it. So that's... strange. Footprints. Yeah, those are footprints. 
This looks kind of strange. Well, that would be why. I don't really know exactly what's going on here, but somehow the Avatar is phasing through certain uh, objects in the world. This is really peculiar. Okay, cool. There's a button here. Um, now that's strange because I think that was the cell that the Avatar was in, and yet here we are looking at it. It is unchanged. So I can't quite explain that. Um, what about this one? Okay. Kind of the same deal. A bed that can be run through. Not a lot else going on. Just scenery stuff here. Okay, can't open that door. More scenery stuff that can be run through for some reason. Yeah, same here. Not seeing anything else. Okay, well, we did see that the portcullis was raised. Or at least it looked like it, even though, you know, we're looking at it right over there and it's not, but poke the uh, weird translucent spider. And let's see if... Yeah, okay. We got our skeleton back. That's nice. Secret door's closed. Don't know what I think about that. Well, this, this is in fact open now, so... The Avatar has his freedom, I guess. That's great. And uh, the first thing he's going to do with it is break barrels, because that's what we do. Hmm. Okay, okay. I guess we have to move the broken barrels first. That's kind of to be expected at this point. We have a chain quaff and a skull. We do not need either of those things. Is there anything under this vase? I uh, can't move it. Never mind. What's in here? Ha! Uh, nope. Don't don't punch it. Well, there wasn't anything in here when the avatar was in that kind of alternate dimension or whatever that was, but now there are yellow potions. Yes, please. And... A gold key. I mean, this was uh, a locked door in that other reality, so maybe there's something to that. A bag! A bag! We'll put that here. Anything in the bag? No, nothing's in the bag. All right. Well, put up your dukes, barrels. Ha! Ha! I don't know why we ended up on top of that one. Ha! 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 Ooh, there's something. There is something. But we're going to have to move the barrel to get it. Chain arms. Well, we've already seen that chain arms are worse than the worm guard arms. So we're going to leave that there. Um, I guess, can we use the key to go through here? That wasn't locked. We still got the key. So it's locked in the other version, but it's open here. But that may not matter, because... Okay. So maybe this key will unlock the alternate reality or phased version, or whatever, of that door. Let's try it. Okay, we're back in 
weird world again. The door is closed and translucent. And it was indeed locked by the key that we found on that table in the other reality or whatever. The key is gone because it's been used. And uh, there we go. Phased through another portcullis. And found another button on the other side. Yeah, that's kind of a repeat of what happened at the very beginning here. Who closed the door? I hate when they do that. <laughs> well, looks like the end of the road. So... Go back to the weirdo spider and see what's beyond the portcullis that was opened in the normal reality. I hope this does not become a running theme here because it's a little obnoxious. Okay, back through the door. Go on, Avatar. Yep, that is open now and, um camera is being a little strange and jerky right now, but that's okay. I can see a secret door here. In fact, yeah, the camera's being really janky. We're going to save and reload, because I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, yeah, that's much nicer. What do we have in here? Oh, well, loot, for one. Oh, that's not loot. That's a mimic. The bane of D&D &D rogues everywhere. And we're going to uh, engage it with fristikoffs. Yeah. Punch it, Avatar. Um, is it dead? We don't have a stick to poke it with, so I don't know. That's dead. Yeah. 50 coins. For killing a mimic with your bare hands. Nicely done, Avatar. Can we continue to the next area? No. Can't. What? That statue's looking at the Avatar. In fact... They all are. Okay. And... We've got some strange... light changes going on. Going from green... to red... to yellow. And back to green. Okay. Do we just need to... No. Push the button? Does that help? No. Can we use the brazier? We can. Don't know that that's really doing anything. Hmm. Maybe if we open the door when it's specifically green might be kind of hard to do with the way the lights are flashing right now. Is, is that because of this? No, it's still kind of... Can I turn this thing off? No, it's here to stay. Alright. We'll just try to time it by watching the avatars back. So that's green, red, green. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, okay. Opening the door while things were flickering green was the way to go. Oh, I hear bubbling. That's that's always a good sign, right? What do we have here? Ooh. Ooh, this is confusing. Um, we'll examine that room later. 
what do we have in here other than a totally glitched out area rug hanging from the ceiling? Button, button, button. Well, what does this one do? Okay, that was the lava room, and it, it showed, I'm going to guess, what was a path. Maybe the only safe path across that lava. I guess we'll try that in a bit. But we have more buttons to press. What does this one do? That generates a yellow potion. Yoink. Do it again? No. Okay. No. No. Okay. So that's just garbage. And we have one more button. What does this do? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Dang. Hi there. Um, oh, we need to take a piece of it. Yeah, you, you shall not reform. Oh, hey. And a cutlass. Okay. The avatar is now armed. Hoorah. There's nothing else to do in here, so we'll go back to the lava room. Okay, don't much care for this, but I guess it's safe. Sure, real safe. Phew, okay, well, we made it over here. Now we can kind of look around a little. And you know what? I feel like the game is being chuggy again. So I'm actually going to save and reload. Okay, that feels better. So what if we push this? More way forward. Uh, we're not going back that way. Hello, uh, little platformy thing. Yeah, we, we've seen these before, so it's, it's not all that surprising that it's giving us a little tour of the room. Thank you, platformy thing. We can see a teleporter up there, but it appears to be blocked off using the same stuff that we were running around on. So that won't work. We're going to have to do something to be able to use that platform. I don't know if that statue is going to be part of it or what. But... Uh, buttons. That's not good. Whoa, wait, what? Did you not? Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we have an issue here. Push buttons. Oh man. Oh. Ow. If we get rid of all the buttons, the fire stops. Dude. Uh. Not cool. Not doing anything either. It over? No, oh, no, 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 no. We've got a button up here now, so that's nice. Oh, oh no. Getting real beat up here. Are you gonna stop now? Well, that's good. You know what? I bet I could grab this. I'm correct. Well, we'll, we'll hang on to that. We might have to use it. I don't really want to go back over there with that jerk. 
Yay, a new moving platform. Okay, I like that this one's a little faster. What do we have here? You gonna shoot fire too? No, don't leap. I don't like that. Okay, well. Clicking on it doesn't do anything, so you can't use it directly. We've got five buttons here. Okay, that rotated it clockwise. If we do this one... Okay, and that rotates it counterclockwise. How about this? Okay, so that's a small counterclockwise. And that's a small clockwise. Okay. I wonder... Then, what do you think red does? Ah! Pew pew lasers. Okay. I want to shoot that other statue. Can we do that? Kill it. Ah, no. Missed. We need it to be a little more clockwise. Kill it. Nope, not going to be able to do that. Okay. Well, we probably need to hit that sun, I'm going to guess. Might be a little too far. It is. That's way too far. How about now? One more bit clockwise now excellent that has removed the force field surrounding that teleporter pad so if we can get up there we can use it I'm going to guess that green button maybe our ticket up there but to use that we would have to swing all the way back around again past that fire statue jerk. Not happy about that, but... Okay. Um... We can't get out of it. You know what? I'm gonna save again because it's, uh... feels choppy. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's reload. Okay, that's better. So now it's time for you to spin the other way and hit the other sun face. I make it shoot while it's moving. Yeah. Oop. Oh, I don't think we can do anything to the other statue. Oh well. Hmm. A little more. Much. How about now? Uh, a little bit more. Fine tuning here. Well, it's good to see you coming back. You shouldn't have left in the first place, but hello. We'll take this back to the beginning platform. And now we just need to get up there. I think we know how to do that. Back across these. On to the slowest moving platform ever past the horrible fire statue. Yeah, I'm watching you. I don't trust you. Nope. I don't trust you. Aha, and that's
That's why I don't trust you. You're terrible. Got this platform back, and I guess we just need to slam the green button now. Whoa. Yep, that did it. What's this purple button do? I have a feeling I know where this goes, but, uh... Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> that is highly unfortunate. Okay. Let's do it again. But now we know for certain. We'll just uh, set up camp here on this lovely platform and never leave. It's coming. Yep. Oh, and it hit. You're horrible. You are horrible. We're getting out of here. Yeah, goodbye forever. Step on the teleporter. That's just awful. That's just awful. And, well, you know what? This might actually be worse. Wow, that is that is a lot of uh, lava. Okay, in this direction we have nothing. There's nothing we can do there. Back over this way. Yeah, that pedestal doesn't do anything. Is that the glyph? No, that is not the glyph. Uh, some kind of puzzle here. Oh, you better not shoot fire. You had better not shoot fire. Okay. Um, well, crystal balls never hurt, right? statue is important for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not going to start pressing these just yet because I have a feeling they're related and I would rather just push this one because it's alone. Okay. Now we can go over there. We can examine that statue. The other statues, actually. There's a lot going on over there. Yeah, there are three statues here. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, 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 guys. Um, I don't really appreciate that. Can't turn them off or anything. Can I kill them? No. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. How about you? Are you going to shoot fire too? I met your cousin. Um. I don't see any buttons or anything? Can I interact with it? Yeah. Whoa. All right, we got uh, pew pew lasers. Um, I'm afraid of these guys. The Avatar can't really take a lot more punishment right now. I, I mean, I have these potions, I'd just rather not use them. Um, when we came down here, this one on the right fired first, and then this one fired. So my money's on this one firing now, either because they're alternating or because this one just fires first. 
So I'm going to go here and run. Okay, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, okay, you can see that one was on the left, so... Again, either they alternate or the one on the right and from the from the current perspective fires first. So that should be helpful information. Um, so it shoots pew pew lasers. My guess is based on the previous room that we need to shoot that sun face. And this probably helps aim that. Oh, no, it doesn't. It does not change the statue. It changes this. Um, well, when we fired, this thing was pretty far to the bottom and left, I would say. So we want to move it. Far to the right and top. Something like that. Right? Now we have to run back over there and see if we've aligned it properly. And here we go. Guessing you on the right? Okay, yep. And your friend on the left? Yep. Alright. Great. Great, guys. And you. Not exactly a direct hit. Um, let's get a closer look at that. We need to move it to the right just a little bit, I would say. And here we go with this again. Ooh. That is way too close for comfort. Okay. Wonderful. And yeah, there's that there as well, but I don't see a way to interact with it right now, so I'm going to ignore it. So, we need to move to the right a little. Hope that's enough. We'll find out. That's wrong side. Yep. Okay. Oh, we've got the hang of that. Hit the thing. Hit the thing. I mean, that, that looked like a hit to me. Hasn't... Wait a minute. That's sneaky. Do you see what changed? button just appeared down here. <laughs> That's horrible. Well, let's push the button. Oh boy. Another fun floating platform. Uh, Alright, fellas, we're out of here. How you doing, Fireball? Good day? Good day. Okay. Well, the Avatar will explore where this platform takes him in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.